Hey guys, just want to talk about a new, uh, newly released component that we're open sourcing. It's called the Adalo Deepish linking. Uh, this mimics most of what true deep linking will do. Uh, because we don't have access to the root of an Adalo app, this is kind of a work work around way. Sorry about that. A workaround way of getting deep linking to work in your app. So if you're interested in having uh, most of deep linking working in your app, feel free to clone the repository and follow the steps to get this working in your own apps. So the first thing I'm just gonna go over is if we change in the install scripts right here, your chosen scheme, this is where you can put your own stuff here and this is gonna be the URI prefix. So what does that mean? That means if I change this to PragmaFlow, Anything that starts with PragmaFlow colon slash slash is a link that goes to my app. Sorry, misclicked. So if I click on about, it opened the app to the about page. Now if I go back and I go to GitHub, it will open my app to the GitHub page. Now more than that, I've actually developed the app so that you can add question mark and add some extra parameters. All right, uh, so when I click on that, <coughs> it will, <coughs> sorry, filter out the, uh, the word local and show me just local storage, or I can click on and go to the details. So now we can actually go and put deep links into any of the pages that we want, and we can pass some extra information in so we can filter out the lists. Another thing that we can actually do uh, is when we close the app, we can have the user start straight into that link. And we could also pass the extra information as well. Now, the last thing I wanna show you with this is what happens if the user is not even logged in. So let's actually log out of the app, close the app. Let's see what happens when we click on a link without being signed in. So I go, When I log in, it will take me right to the GitHub page because that's the link that I clicked on. So that's it. That's how the app actually works. And now let's go into the actual Adalo and see how we can have this happen. <coughs> okay. So in Adalo, if you've done it right, you will now have the deep link as one of your, your private components. And we can go and drag them onto every single page. So right now I've made them invisible because I don't need them to be visible. Um, so a couple of things to note is trigger on initial URL. This is what happens when your application is launched using a special URL. So the way that I've done this is when I get that initial URL, I listen for the event, and sometimes if the URL from the event is equal to PragmaFlow about, then I will send the user to the about page. And this is why it's not true deep linking, because you're gonna open the last page and you're gonna take an action to send you to the next page. So the root component isn't doing the navigation, it's all of these pages uh, are going to be having the navigation on them. And similarly with GitHub, you know, I'll change the GitHub screen if the URL is equal to GitHub. Um, the way that we do the initial linking is a bit more complex because we have the sign in page. In the sign up page, we want to trigger it because the only way to get to the sign up page um, is really when you first, when you're not logged in and you open the app. So on the initial one, what I did was I sent um, the value, the URL that's open to a hidden field called deep link required. <coughs> <coughs> so it updates the text in this hidden text box. And this way I can store the information for later use. 
So then on the home screen, I now have an action, which, and we can add as many links as we want to route it. But if this text was set to GitHub, then we go immediately to GitHub. So as soon as the user logs in, it'll read this field and send them to the appropriate place. So that's really it. Um, I'm going to end it there. If you have any questions on how to do this, if you think it's neat, uh, you know, give me a shout and, and we can help you out uh, if you get stuck trying to implement it.